Energy. You know, we could lose two power plants in the blink of an eye, and then we'd be right on the edge. And if we're not conserving electricity at that time, we may not be able to make it. Conserving your own energy on days like today is important, too. An air quality health advisory has been issued for Nassau and Suffolk counties, which means everyone should limit strenuous outdoor activities. Those with any kind of heart or respiratory disease should be especially careful. The heavy air, the heat, the combination with the uh, other pollutants in the air uh, just uh, could easily uh, precipitate an attack of any of those diseases. Now the Long Island Power Authority says yesterday we came within one megawatt of breaking that record. That record set just a few weeks back on July 19th. At Eisenhower Park in East Meadow, Bill Mooney, News 12, Long Island. Well, the Power Authority says it has added 1,100 megawatts of power in the last three years, and customers are getting better at conserving. Well, that hope so, that because helps. Uh, it does help. Mm -hmm. And it's time now for a quick check on the weather. Chief Meteorologist Bill Corbell is at the bat now with your 60-second forecast. Yep, Mother Nature making us uh, pay for all that nice cool weather we had back in June and for much of July. Some thunderstorms to our north and west. They're not going to get here tonight, but those thunderstorms and some behind it will mark the approach of much cooler air by this time tomorrow night or not long thereafter and for a nice weekend. But we will have some thunderstorms to contend with before that happens. Meanwhile, tonight, a little fog has begun to form, especially over the eastern third to half of Suffolk County and especially the south shore. It may spread inland a bit and to the west as well. Very mild tonight. 72 St. James, Babylon 71, Freeport 73, and even the east end pretty warm at around 70 for the Twin Forks, Mattituck out to Orient and down to Montauk. Mainly clear except again for areas of fog. The front by early afternoon tomorrow will be moving well, very close to Albany, Binghamton. Thunderstorms out ahead of it. We'll be in the 90s here on the island, though. Somewhere between 87 and 95. Hot, humid, hazy sun. Any thunderstorms probably hold off till late afternoon, evening, and at night. And then Colleen and Lauren, it gets a lot better for Saturday and Sunday. I'll have that for you in just a few minutes. Okay, sounds great. Thank you, Bill. A car recall to tell you about. Tens of thousands of Honda Odysseys need to go back to the shop. We'll tell you why. And a Long Island family who lost their son is leading the fight to make SUVs safer. You're watching News 12 Long Island, as local as local news gets. News 12 Long Island is brought to you in part by Washington Mutual. Get free checking that's truly free at the home of the free. Washington Mutual. More human interest. Frustrated with high-priced internet providers cleaning you out? They charge over $20 a month for service that should cost half of that. It's time you tried People PC Online. With People PC Online, you get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month. Go to PeoplePC.com now to try us free for 30 days and compare us with your current ISP. People PC Online has all the features you'd expect from the big ISPs and a few things you might not, like virus blocker software to help protect your computer from harmful email viruses, more local access numbers than AOL, and a smart dialer for faster, more reliable connections, all for just $10.95 a month. No wonder over half a million people have switched to People PC Online in the last year. To try us free for 30 days, go to peoplepc.com for a quick download of our easy-to-use software or call one 800 Four six four five eight nine five. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Some things are out of your control. Construction, a blackout. Your mother-in-law. But now you can control your local news. Choose the stories you want to see. Introducing News 12 Interactive, Channel 612. It's new and it's free on your I.O. digital service from Cablevision. News 12 Interactive, as local as local news gets. Only on cable, never on satellite. Huff and Gadis Realty knows that moving your family is a big part of buying or selling a home. Now when you sell or buy your home through Huff and Gadis Realty, we'll lend you our moving truck. What other realtor will do that? Huff and Gadis is a full service realtor committed to providing your family with real value through quality service and competitive rates. We have 15 neighborhood offices across Long Island. Signs of our success are everywhere, helping families just like yours. Huff and Gadis Realty, everything we touch turns to sold. News 12 Long Island is brought to you in part by the Lombardi family, a tradition of fine foods and catering for all your dining needs. Visit VillaLombardi's.com.
Tonight in your business news, stocks lost ground after retailers reported mixed results in July. The Dow fell 87 and a half points, closing at 10,610. The Nasdaq dropped by 25 and a half. The Amex managed to gain more than 13. S&P dropped nine. ExxonMobil's chairman and CEO Lee Raymond is retiring at the end of the year. The oil giant's board is expected to name company president Rex Tillerson as Raymond's successor. And Honda is recalling more than 85,000 of its 2005 Odyssey minivans. The car maker says a bad airbag sensor could cause the dashboard warning light to turn on. Now, Honda says there have been no reports of airbags improperly deploying or failing to deploy. A Dix Hills family is using the tragic death of their baby to help keep others from feeling the heartache they've endured. The little boy was run over and killed by an SUV and now they're leading the fight to put safety first. News 12's Jill Conway reports. It's something that people don't think about. We never thought about it. And now it's all the Nelsons can think about. Their little boy, Alec, was just 16 months old when a family member backing up their SUV accidentally struck and killed him in the driveway. This is what happens when people aren't educated about the blind spot. So the Nelsons have joined the fight for SUV safety. Today, standing outside their home with an army of friends, they are calling on local and state lawmakers to mandate safety measures for large vehicles and increase awareness about the dangers of blind spots. From 800 accidents, only the ones that have been reported in the last two years have occurred regarding SUVs and, and child incidents. Activists like Frank Gargano, who's running for a spot on the legislature, says if elected, he will create a new bill called Alex Law to get the word out. The dealerships will work together with us to lobby the manufacturers to make sure that we have the most up-to-date, state-of-the-art technology to protect our children and our families. There are now several safety devices available, one of them a camera mounted to the back of the vehicle right near the license plate. Inside, a TV screen so the driver can see everything that's behind them. And an alarm would sound if the vehicle gets too close to an object. The Nelsons say the device would have saved their son's life. They now want to save the lives of other children. Jill Conway, News 12, Long Island. On Friday, the Nelsons will speak in front of the Suffolk Legislature. There is free medical help out there for millions of uninsured kids, and their parents may not even know about it. A new study shows 8 million children across the nation have no health services, and about a third of these kids are eligible for government programs like Medicaid and Child Health Plus. Now, to see the full report and information on these programs, you can log on to news12.com and then click on numbers and links. Sweltering, stifling, any way you slice it, baby, it was hot outside, and make, that makes day three in a row of 90 degree heat. You know what that means? It's officially a heat wave. So what can we expect for the weekend? Chief Meteorologist Bill Corbell has your seven day forecast. And that pesky door won't lock because the deadbolt's out of whack. Well, News 12 Long Island's home doctor shows you how to do it right. Drill the hole for the deadbolt. News 12 Long Island is brought to you in part by Auto World Kia. For gigantic selection and low, low prices, Auto World Kia is Long Island's Kia giant, Old Country Road, Hicksville. Before, after. It's hard to believe I have hair again. Even a little hair loss was a lot to me. It's amazing, isn't it? No hair. Hair. I look horrible in this picture. If you can't get used to seeing yourself without hair, call Bosley for this free information package.